The Long Island community where Officer Sacco is called home is mourning the loss of a friend, a neighbor, and a local hero. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff joins us now live from East Northport with more on this. Carolyn. Christine and Dick, he was a New York City protector and hero, but to his family and neighbors, uh, Officer Sakos was known simply as Tasso, an incredibly devoted and involved father to two small children. There is deep grief tonight here in his neighborhood over a beautiful life senselessly cut short. We just pray for his wife and his kids. And There's an overwhelming you know. sadness in East Northport, where 43 year old NYPD highway cop Anastasios Sakos and his young family had moved in last summer. An amazing father and husband. The Jean Colognes, next door neighbors, describe Tasso, as they call him, as a beautiful man who treated them like family when they both became sick with COVID. He brought us food and went to the supermarket, whatever you guys need. He actually was in my house helping me put up the molding. Yeah, he was the, helping us carry things yeah, in the house. He was Often in the driveway, playing with his three-year-old son and six-year-old daughter, Sakos was committed to family and service, as evidenced in pictures shared with us by his brother, Teddy, who rushed to the side of the officer's widow. My brother was a great guy. <laughs> he never... He was not selfish at all. He loved being a cop, you know. Uh, he, he kept telling him not to be careful, not to go out, but, you know, he liked it. That's what he liked. That's what he wanted to do. Just terrible, terrible news. He was such a nice guy. It's very hard to hear. Just devastating. NYPD widows with the group Survivors of the Shield arrived within hours of the tragic news to let their newest member know they will always be there for her. We've all been through it, but every circumstance is different. And privacy is important to her. She's still, you know, trying to accept what happened. Everyone here shaken by the senselessness of a life lost this way. Now these poor children got to grow up without a father. Well, because of a drunk driver. It's not right. I just can't believe uh, that this has happened again. And each time it seems to be closer and closer and closer to home. Officer Sakos was married for seven years. He was also the beloved son of a family that owned diners throughout Long Island and in Queens. Flags have been lowered throughout his new hometown of Huntington in his memory. In East Northport, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Carolyn, our thoughts with his family and his community this evening. Thank you. We have much more on this accident and, of course, the life of Officer Anastasio Sakos on our website. We'll also post funeral arrangements when we learn them, also all at cbsnewyork.com.